Iraqi army is throwing everything it has into this fight to liberate Mosul. At night, tanks and armoured vehicles manoeuvred into position, ready to begin the offensive. This day one of what could be a long campaign. Just before dawn, they began their push forward. Welcome to Sacktable Talk. This is Zan Khan. Iraq has announced the beginning of its offensive for the northern city of Mosul on Monday, embarking on the country's biggest fight against ISIS. With the U.S. Air Force jets assisting them, will the Iraqi forces be able to successfully retake the city? To discuss this topic, we have with us today uh, the founder of StandUpAmericaUS.org, a U.S. Army Major General and a senior geopolitical analyst. Welcome to our show, Major General Paul Vallely. This is Zan Khan. It's a pleasure to have you on Tactical Talk. Thank you very much. Always a pleasure. General, Iraq has announced its offensive battle for Mosul, which is ISIS's capital in Iraq. Uh, which groups will be assisting the Iraqi forces in this battle? Well, it appears from what I hear from intelligence reports is there are two directions uh, of the siege of Mosul, from the north and from the south. From the south, it appears that we have the Iraqi forces, uh, plus uh, American uh, advisors uh, providing and coordinating air support power uh, for the Iraqi forces. I would suspect, but we haven't heard any definitive information on the Iranian forces or the IRGC forces of the Iran government. From the north, of course, we have the Peshmerga, uh, the Kurds uh, involved. Uh, the only question I would have of the north, how much the Turks are getting involved with any kind of uh, play in the offensive operations uh, towards Mosul. Uh, General, how many Iraqi forces have been decided by the Iraqi government uh, to go in uh, in the battlefield? Uh, do you think they will be enough? Well, again, in answering the questions about uh, amounts uh, of the forces, uh, the, the, that's not what's critical. Uh, What's critical is the uh, types of forces, what type of air ground operations you have, what kind of helicopter, uh, overhead uh, fighter jet support, and then uh, the command and control required on the ground to direct any kind of an offensive operations. And that's what we call ground operations. So we have, uh, for example, uh, trained in the Iraqi military, air ground controllers, and they're being advised by a number of uh, U.S. Uh, special forces air ground operators that do the command and control, linking and controlling air support uh, to the ground infantry armor forces. So I don't know the exact number of Iraqi forces involved, and they would probably keep that rather confidential, I would think. Um, uh, General Paul, let's not forget that it was Mosul's mosque where... Uh Baghdadi, ISIS's leader, gave his first ever sermon. Uh, will we see American boots on the ground or will the U.S. just assist with its Air Force? No, no, no. Air Force requires uh, ground controllers. And these are the special operators, the Green Berets, Navy SEALs, uh, that will direct the aircraft. So uh, boots on the ground, there always has to be boots on the ground to some degree when you're in an offensive operation, when you have air operations and you have ground operations. Of course, there has to be soldiers on the ground to do this. Okay, General, last question. How much time do you predict would take the Iraqi forces along with other groups to push ISIS out of Mosul? Well, there are some that are uh, saying uh, anywhere from uh, 90 days up to 120 days. Uh, certainly, uh, if you had the strategic and tactical commanders that the United States has, it could be done uh, probably within two weeks. But it's hard to tell uh, how strong the Iraqi command and control uh, structure is and how uh, educated and well-trained they are in air ground combat operations. So uh, that's where it lies, how capable are the Iraqi forces who are leading the offensive attack. We know the Peshmerga are very well uh, managed and very well commanded. 
uh, by uh, their senior leadership, much better we know than what the Iraqi force command structure has been. So we'll have to see what happens. Thank you so much, General Paul Valli, for being on Tactical Talk. It's always a pleasure having you. Thank you very much. Always a pleasure. This was Major General Paul Valli, a retired general from the U.S. military and also the founder of Stand Up America, US.org. We were discussing on the topic of the battle for Mosul. Until the next episode of Tactical Talk, this is Zan Khan. Take care and goodbye.